Hey, welcome back to uh, Durham Bulls Park here in Durham, North Carolina. It's day two for Clemson in the ACC championships here in Durham. Uh, as you remember yesterday, the Tigers had a historic day, 17 runs in one inning in the fourth inning. I think Clemson fans will probably remember this forever. It's the first time I've ever seen anything like that in my uh, almost 20 years of sports writing. Uh, but uh, yesterday, as you can see, the scoreboard behind me, it couldn't keep up. It wasn't built for 21 runs in one game. Uh, but especially 17 in one inning. So uh, we look back at that first that, that inning, the Tigers had 11 hits, um, four home runs, a grand slam, a three-run homer, two two-run homers, Seth Williams, excuse me, Seth Beer, Chris Williams, uh, Logan Davison, all those guys all got in the act yesterday. Davison had a monster game with seven RBIs, six in that one inning there, and, and had two home runs in that one inning from each side of the plate, which is a first in Clemson history. And, probably in the ACC tournament history as well. It's not something that happens very often that a guy can go on both sides of the plate and hit home runs. Now all that's in the past. Now the Tigers look forward to tonight when they play Miami in a game that if the winner, whoever wins this game, is going to go to the ACC semifinals. The loser is going to go home. So it's a winner-take-all matchup for the Tigers. Uh, big game. Brooks Crawford will go on the mound for the Tigers tonight. Uh, Clemson hopes to, he continues the way he's been pitching the last few weeks, obviously. And Clemson hopes they can keep hitting the baseball like they have been doing here the last week. And if those big three, as we put on the website earlier, continue to do what they're doing, then I think Clemson's got a great shot to win. So stay with us all day on the Clemson Insider. We'll have updates from all the games, as, as we always do. But also, of course, we'll keep you updated on what the Tigers are doing.